Good morning, friends. How are you this morning? Coach Sarah here with Araya Hope Health, and I have my special helper, Araya, with me today. Uh, if you are joining me from YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And if you are in my cooking group, thank you for being here. And if you're not in Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah, hop on over on Facebook and join us live each week where we cook something fun with you guys. Okay, I feel like since last night I have learned so many life lessons that I'm going to share them with you so you don't make the same mistakes as me. And you can make caramel chocolates. I was so excited because Valentine's is coming up and I love chocolate and I love caramel and I thought, oh, I'm going to make these. It's going to go perfectly well. If I'm being completely transparent and honest with you guys, caramel is really tricky for me. So I want to show you, hey, honey, you want to take her over there? Thank you, sweetheart. Um, I want to show you guys what not to do and what to do so that you can make this a successful recipe for you. We are going to make Glenda Groff's salted caramel uh, chocolates. Is that what they're called? Yes, yeah. salted caramel chocolates. And if you missed my live yesterday, thank you guys for praying about my eye. Um, this is, I have my glasses on, as you can see, and it's still swollen, so I am pretty much all natural here, but I, I need to just wear my glasses for a little while because it's been irritated. But if you want to watch that live, I'll link it in the description. You guys can check that out because I, I do have some encouragement for you guys too. And uh, today, today we're going to start, oh my gosh, I just feel like I have all this in my head and I just need to, I just need to gift it to you. So here we go. Here we go. We are going to start with. Um, oh, let me check it. Okay. Thank you guys for your patience, by the way. I'm a little bit late because I really, really, do you want to keep stirring that? We're so close. We're yeah. so close. I really wanted to show you the caramel sauce, like when it's done, because I messed it up. Oh, I got to move this. You messed I hate when there's like a notification on this. Oh, and then there's another one. That's fun. They don't go off my screen either. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. So. Step one, when you do this, make your caramel sauce first, but I just, for time's sake for you guys today, I already started, can they see my chocolate melter? Maybe not. I already, can you see my chocolate melter? Oh, you guys can. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I'll just show them. I already started melting my chocolate, so I have it back here because actually I've been experimenting with a whole bunch of things, so I have my chocolate melted. You can use your favorite brand of chocolate chips. I have my sugar-free dark chocolate 365 from Whole Foods. That's what I'm going to be using. So this recipe is actually really easy. I think I should say that with a disclaimer on it. you got to follow the steps for the caramel. And honestly, thank you, Glenda Groff. Oh, my goodness. I was messaging her this morning, um, troubleshooting with her because I'm like, I need help. I need help. How many of us need help? Me. So uh, she troubleshooted with me. I'm going to give you her tips that she shared with me to make this work. So good morning, friends. Good morning, Carissa. Good morning, Ainy. Good morning, Lainey. How are you guys? So melted chocolate, you will do that like step two. But this is what I did last night, you guys. I made the caramel sauce, which we're going to do now. And it was a hot disaster. Let me check it. Oh, it's so good. Keep going though. Uh, it's okay. It's you hot. can you can do it really slow. Yeah. But See, this is why caramel's really fickle. So this is one you should be in the kitchen when you make it. So if you're doing the dishes or something, so you can you do gotta babysit this. Sorry, friends. I know we like stuff that we don't have to babysit, but it'll be worth it. It was gonna be so worth it. So let me show you how to get the caramel sauce started, and then I'm gonna show you what happened last night, so you don't do that too. So all you need is butter. So a saucepan. And then I'm just going to put my butter. I am spilling things already. My butter in my saucepan. This is it. So butter in saucepan. Then I'm going to turn this on. I just feel the heat. Oh, you know what, honey? Let's just set this here and then let, it'll be okay. I just turned it down really low. Okay. All right. So we're going to turn this on and we're going to melt this butter. So this is really important step. When you're melting your butter, you want to make sure that you get it to that golden brown and it's really easy to burn. So watch it. Are you going to be my eyes for me? Yeah. 
because I'm terrible at watching these things. I'm terrible at watching caramels, so we should all know this by now that I need help. I need help. Okay, so last night I made the entire caramel sauce. Here's the secret, you guys. If you do not cook it long enough, it won't work. It won't work. So I did it and I couldn't figure out for the life of me. I put it in the freezer overnight in my molds. It's a gooey mess. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you do it wrong so that you also don't do it wrong. Okay. So this, I put this in. If you guys know, I love my Epicure silicone. So I thought I'm going to fill these. Oh, I also filled them very little so that then I could just either dip them or I could put chocolate on top. I got a shortcut. I have a shortcut for you guys today. Yes, I do. Of course I do. So anyways, if you want them covered in chocolate, then you can put it in whatever mold you want. Again, you're going to not do what coach Sarah did here. And I'm going to tell you exactly what to do to save these. So this is what that happened. I did not cook the caramel long enough. And so I'm going to show you guys Oh, I, I really want to show you guys this. Can you, can you see this? Let's see how close I can get. I'm doing good. Can you see this? All right. This looks like, oh, it's going to pop out, but it's, it's too stuck. It's super gooey. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. So all of this is now going to be caramel apple dip for my kids. And they're like, woohoo. Right? No. No. Oh, she's not that excited. Well, well then. Okay. So just to give you an idea, you guys, this, it's like soft, soft jello. Can you guys see this? I really want you to see the, see? Oh, there you go. I'm really trying to show you. This is not right. If you do that, it, it's not happening. So really listen to me, you guys, on this. Um, I messaged Glenda. Again, thank you, Glenda, for your help. And you want the caramel to hit. Softball stick. Oh, you looked at it? Oh, we're doing good. Not Trying not to burn my butter, y'all. Don't burn the butter. And actually, I feel like this isn't quite done, but it's really close. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to show you guys now. So, this is the caramel sauce as it's been going. Can you guys see this? Do you see this texture? I'm going to cook it a little bit longer. This is still not done. Can you see it? It's beautiful, but it's still not quite there. So here's the thing. The recipe says, the recipe says, what does it say? Five to six minutes. I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I had to cook it for 20 minutes. This is again why I was like, gonna wanna hang out in your kitchen to make this. So here's the thing. I do wanna have a disclaimer. Do you see this vent right here? We have like an air, something in the vent in our garage. Ha, it, it's open. It's open. Anyways, we can't reach it without like a scaffold because it's so, so high. So I think that's part of my problem. So when you do this, you're just going to have to watch your caramel. Just trust me. Watch your caramel really closely because I have ice. You guys can't see this, but I have ice back here. And I think that is not helping my caramel situation. So it's all melted. Let's see though. Is it brown? I need another. Let's see what I got here. I use this one. Let's check it. We're checking our butter. We don't want to burn it. Okay. It's not quite ready yet. It really should be like golden, golden brown. Okay. We're doing like 300 things at once here. So you want to make sure the caramel is perfect. Now what's going to happen when you do that? Uh, I have to show you guys because it's amazing. It's amazing. Hey Lori, could you put some in your coffee? Yes. That sounds delicious. I love it. This okay. is kind of getting burned. When you do it right, which by the way, guys, use whatever molds you have. So this is take two. Take two. I need to take two. Actually, I need, I only need to take two. So see, there's hope. You guys, there's hope. Look what happens when you do it right. Okay. This just pops out. Boom. Do you see that? This is a perfect little heart. It just pops right out and it leaves this clean. So you can see this, I have to show them this. This leaves gooey mess, not good. You did it wrong. This, you did it right, okay? 
I'm teasing my own self, you guys, because I was just having so many issues. So then all you have to do with these, if you want them like this, then you're just going to take your chocolate. I'm just going to grab my chocolate here. Oh, are we done? Oh, I feel like we're done. Oh, I, okay. We got it. We got to look at this. Yes, yes, yes. Friends. Okay. I'm going to turn that down. You guys, can you see this? Can you guys see this texture? It's like gloppy, gloppy. If you have a candy thermometer, I don't even own one, you guys. If you do, you want it to be, this is from Glenda, this is from Glenda. <clears throat> 235 to 245 um, degrees Fahrenheit. So, otherwise, this is the texture that worked perfectly for me. So, I'm gonna show you guys my shortcut. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. Okay. Um, will you just come back here and stir it so it doesn't get weird? I know you got to babysit that. Okay, we're coming. We're gonna come back to these, so don't leave me yet. Mom. We're gonna come back to these. What happened? It's just that. What happened? Yeah. <gasps> uh oh, we're burning the butter. Oh, you guys, I burnt the butter. Yes. Don't do this. Don't do. Can you see? Oh, you can't even see in there. I just blackened the butter. Shame on me. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's fine. I'm glad we didn't add everything. Okay, that's okay, honey. That's okay. All right, we're starting again. This is what you do when you mess up. You just keep going. You just do it again. You do it again. I really want to show you what to add to this, so. Okay. So, that's all right because we have our other one. We're doing this backwards. So here's my tip for you guys. Do do tip. I have a tip for you. Okay. I'm gonna show you this. We are going to make this. Oh, honey, do you want to take that from her? Okay, get out your what kind of square pan, whatever you have. I don't even know what the measurements are on this. Nine by eight. No, eight by eight. Just kidding. It's square. <laughs> square. Eight by eight. And you can put, or you can use, you can use your round silicone. If you don't mind it being round shaped and not perfect little squares, you could use your Epicure silicone. So I'm just gonna crumple this up so it lays flatter. Cause there's nothing like, woo, it going everywhere. That drives me crazy. So, oh, thank you, Carissa. I'm telling you girl, I am not a caramel connoisseur, but I love you guys. And I know Valentine's is coming and you all need caramel chocolate in your life. So now after you put this in your pan like this, I feel like I got to turn this down here so you can see. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. That's better. Now you're going to take your chocolate, your melted chocolate. So however you melt it, if it's lilies or whatever your favorite one is. And I'm just going to put like two little spoons because I don't want it super thick. So I'm going to smear this on the bottom. And you'll kind of know, if it doesn't cover the bottom, you need to add a little bit more chocolate. Okay. I'm almost ready for that. I'm almost ready, I promise. My daughter's doing such a good job back there with that caramel. Thank you, honey. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I feel pretty good about this. All right, that looks good. So see, I just covered the bottom of this parchment. This is your shortcut, friends. This is your shortcut. Mm. And then, of course, you gotta like, Lick your fingers, all the chocolate off of them. Now, we're ready for the caramel. Okay, keep an eye on my butter. I let that butter go wild. Butter gone wild. That's what happened here. Okay, can you guys see this? See how it's like clumpy? But you don't want it to go beyond this. It's not good. So, can I show you guys a trick? I made these and I made what I have going on here in this pan at the same time. So there is enough to do an eight by eight square pan and some extras. So all you do, I took a spoon and I put them just a little dollop in each one. Let's see what I'm doing, yes, okay. So do, 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 and then I threw these in the freezer. You will know if you did it wrong because um, I had them in the freezer. I have a deep freeze. It's zero degrees. I put stuff that I want to freeze very fast in there. 
and I put it in for an hour, I should have been able to come back to it and pull them out no problem. And it was a gooey mess. And I'm like, oh no, what'd I do? So you will know if you did it right because it should be able to, oh, we're ready for the butter. You should be able to come back to your, um, yes. You should be able to. All right, we're gonna we're gonna not burn the butter this time. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, it's really close. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. If you see it start browning, give it a little turn. Okay. Like So where am I? Um, you should be able to come back after an hour, and these should be totally done. Okay. So if you come back and it's like a hot mess, then you gotta start over and use that for something else. Okay. So make sure you cook it long enough. You want it to look, again, pretty gloppy like this, okay? If it doesn't look like this, keep going. Cook it longer, cook it longer. All right, now we have this. We are just going to put, we should sample this, right? Oh, that's good. Yep, mm, yummy. You want some? I'm gonna let you sample some chocolates. Take your sauce, put it right on top, okay? Oh yeah, Why friends. Like you can thank me for this shortcut later. It is awesome. I love shortcuts. Okay, then spread this out. And then we are going to, oh, that looks so good. Oh yes. I'm gonna have to give some to Trim Healthy Papa. He's gonna love this. Is the butter done? Yeah, is it? Let me check. Oh, it's so close. Oh, see, you gotta watch that butter. Okay, so see, step two, put that, and then just top it again. You don't, this is what I did, because I want it to spread, so I kind of just drizzled it all across the top. And you could leave it like this, yeah, too. Yeah, you should leave it like that, Mom. You think I should? Yeah. So I want to show them, though, how I got the other one. So if you want it to be kind of fancy schmancy, you could just drizzle it all over the top. But the caramel does say, stay soft, so you could do that. Now, if you want it to look like my finished product, which I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second, then very lightly spread your chocolate across the top until you get it completely covered, okay? So that's that. Now. I don't have any of the coarse um, salt. She recommends coarse pretzel salt. I would get coarse, um, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Help me. Uh, 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 Celtic sea salt, coarse Celtic sea salt, which you can order from Vitacost friends. So I would do that. How's our butter doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really close. Do you want to stir that over there? Then, you can take, I, I don't have, I just have Himalayan. So again, if you don't have stuff, you can still make this today. Just get what you got, get what you got. I sound technical. And then you just sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. At least you'll have the salty flavor in it, even if it's not the coarse one. But the coarse one, of course, is gonna be like more like the traditional caramel chocolates that you buy at the store. So definitely, if you know, when you can, invest in some of that. So then into the freezer, this will go. It literally took about 10, five, 10 minutes. It really wasn't long, five, 10 minutes. And then you will have the finished product, which this is it. Is this done yet? Okay, so this is the finished product. Doesn't that look amazing? And I cut some off to make sure, cause I wanna make sure it was like perfect for you guys. The nice thing is the chocolate layer on the outside is very thin. So, and the caramel is very soft. So it actually made these super um, easy to cut. Cause I know sometimes you guys uh, talk about, it's hard to cut through the chocolate when it's hard, but this was actually really easy. So just to give you guys an idea, see, and you can cut them into cute little squares. So if you guys don't mind it not being like the uh, perfect little cute shapes, and you want a shortcut, then you can do it this way. Oh, that one broke. Yeah, that's okay, we'll eat that one. We will eat all of these. Okay. 
Then have you have that. little cute squares. All right, let me check it. We're going to show them. Okay, we're going to come back to our Is little cute done? squares. Do, do, do. It is so close. Ugh, my hand's tired. Is your hand tired? I think we're going to call it. It's going to be good. It's pretty close. So I do like it a little. Oh, can you see that? I like it a little darker. It just keeps moving. But this is close enough for you guys. I don't want to keep you all day. So I am going to just quickly show you what I do. Because also, I didn't have every ingredient that she recommended. So I'm just showing you guys things you can grab from your pantry. Um, another thing, warm up your cream. So it's heavy whipping cream. Warm, um, you know what, will you, let's warm this up. Warm it up for, I don't know, like if it's, if it's straight out of the fridge, warm it up for like 30 seconds and then put it in. So the first, my first trial, I actually just poured it in. I also think that was part of the problem. So listen to that part of the directions. Then you're gonna add gentle sweet. This is what I have. She has some other options I think on there too. So you guys can use what you have, but you know me, I love my gentle sweet. Do you guys have questions while I'm working on this? Let me know what questions you have. Okay, so gentle sweet. Now, I also do not have the brown sugar extract. So, I am just gonna add molasses, and I'm gonna add half a teaspoon to give it the brown sugar effect. One teaspoon, whoop, I gotta be real careful. You guys know me, ha, huh, that's it, ha, ha. Don't do that unless you like really got the eye for, I have to, this is why my daughter put two cups of cinnamon in cinnamon rolls, cause, <clears throat> you know, Mom doesn't always measure stuff, so it looked about right. Did not taste about right, I'll just tell you guys. Let, so do you want to pour that in? We can try it. Okay, go ahead and pour that in. Yep, no, it's totally fine. So then you're gonna add this. So make sure you measure out your molasses because one teaspoon of molasses has five carbs in it. So uh, if you use half a teaspoon, you're just adding two and a half carbs to the entire pot. And don't eat the whole batch in one sitting. I know you're gonna want to, don't do it, go hide it. Put it in your okra bag and run away. You didn't hear that, right? You don't know my secrets, right? Okay, then it's just a little dash of, can I show you guys? I can't, I can't turn my things today, vanilla. So just a little bit of vanilla. Do, do, oh, That's let me, let me focus when I do that. I, I did it, okay. Now this is, see how runny this is? Can you guys see how runny that is? This is so far from done. So far from done. That's why I wanted to show you guys how it looks when it starts versus how it looks when it's done, which we showed you guys. Okay, Wait, we're done. Do Woo, let me rinse my hand. Do I have to stir that? What, honey? Do I have to be stirring that? No, you don't need to stir it. Thank you, though. Such a good helper. Okay, so back to our finished product here, guys. Smooth this. You want to try one? Yeah. Because I really, she has not tried one of these. So I'm actually excited for her to try one and see her opinion. So go ahead and try one. And then you have to tell our friends what you really, really think. Can you do that for me? Let's see. I'm going to put on this little green plate. So let's put some of these on here. Look how cute these turned out. That one's the broken one. We got to put the perfect ones on here. Look, you guys. Aren't those cute? So this is the shortcut way. Now, if you do want it to be little hearts, then all you have to do is take your little mold and any of your extra chocolate, you can just pour it in here, cover it, and then, oh, I should have got my parchment. You're gonna put it on parchment or you can put it in your silicone. If you have your silicone, that works too. Uh, and then you're just going to put after you dip it, put it on your parchment, and then you'll put this in the freezer, and it only takes about, I don't know, it's really not long, five minutes, five minutes. Then you will have, see how they turned out? Aren't those cute? I know they don't quite look like hearts when they were done, but 
So it depends on your goal. If you want fast, I would do it the other way. If you want it to be more traditional, like you're giving it as a gift or you're having it for a special Valentine treat, maybe you want to do this. So you want to have the, the caramel by itself? Sure. Come over here though. Do you like it? What did you think? Oh, she doesn't like dark chocolate. That's okay. So these are dark chocolate. If you want more of a milk chocolate, you could use Lily's milk chocolate. That would be an option. I feel I got to bite into one of these for you guys. So let's see how they are. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. That, I got chocolate hands. See that? This is my bite for you guys because I love you. One for you. This is good. Wow. Mm. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay. Hi, Denise. Hi, Lainey. Hi, Pam. I think that's all I had for you guys today. Oh. If you have any leftover chocolate when you're done, a great way to use your leftover chocolate is... This is my tip. I love to take frozen raspberries and then I will pour the hot chocolate directly over top of the frozen raspberries and you will have a treat in minutes. So if you need a super easy treat really fast, just take your chocolate, pour it over frozen raspberries. You can do fresh, but then you gotta put them in the freezer for just like two minutes. So it's up to you, but I love it over the frozen raspberries because this is hot so it will warm up the frozen raspberry and it hardens within like seconds it's so good try it guys you could also make chocolate strawberries that's really fun so you can do that dip them throw them in the freezer or the fridge if you throw them in the freezer watch them you don't want to just like leave them there because frozen strawberries you know are gonna have a weird taste after like if you're trying to have that fresh straw uh, chocolate covered strawberry taste so, um, take your leftover chocolate, put it on your fruit, okay? That's my tip. That's the fastest thing you can do. Okay, I cannot wait to see your guys' pictures. Will you tag me at Araya Hope Health? Will you tag me? Post them in the cooking group. I want to see all your caramels. Like, I cannot wait to see your caramels when you make this. Don't forget, friends, cook your caramel longer. When in doubt, cook your caramel longer, okay? All right. Is that it? I want to make sure I told you guys all the all the tips. Oh, one other thing, and I didn't show it to you guys. Do we have we don't have any caramel left, do we? We have this. It's gooey. I want to show you guys one more thing. No, it's already getting hardened. I can't show you. Okay, here's here is what Glenda told me. Here's the secret. If you're questioning your caramel sauce, take a cup of cold water. And you're going to take just a teaspoon of the caramel and drop it in the cold water. If it like, it, it shouldn't harden, but it should become like, what's it called? Candy. There's a word for it. Candy. It is, oh, the, it's the softball stage. So it should sort of harden, but not, it's not hard. It's just going to be kind of like Laffy Taffy, like Laffy Taffy. So if that happens and you can scoop it out and it's like Laffy Taffy, done. It's perfect. Okay. Sorry, I didn't show that to you guys. I meant to. But anyways, okay, I love you all. I hope that was helpful. Go make some yummy, yummy chocolates. If you are watching from YouTube, don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. That's right. And if you're not in my cooking group, hop on over to Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. And we will see you guys next week. Maybe we'll make more chocolate next week. What do you guys say? You want more chocolate things or what? Because we've got Valentine's Day coming, so I want to help you prep. Okay, love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.